Hello everybody, this is Theoretical Bullshit once again, but today I am proud to announce that the subject of this video is not in the least theoretical. I want to read you something. An Earth-like planet spotted outside our solar system is the first found that could support liquid water and harbor life, scientists announced Tuesday. I'm a little late, by the way, I've had my head in the sand. Liquid water is a key ingredient for life as we know it. The newfound planet is located at the Goldilocks distance, not too close and not too far from its star to keep water on its surface from freezing or vaporizing away. And while astronomers are not yet able to look for signs of biology on the planet, the discovery is a milestone in planet detection and the research for extraterrestrial life, one with the potential to profoundly change our outlook on the universe. So this is going to be a short video uh, because it's not about what I have to say, it's about what you have to say because this is a call for Christians and other theists and creationists and biblical literalists and anybody who believes that we were intelligently designed or that, uh, especially, specifically anybody who believes in the literal interpretation of the Bible, um, I want to know what you think of this. Uh, I want to know what you think of this as it is now. Um, and it could be anything from, I think they're going to find out it's a bunch of fooey. <laughs> I really wanted to use the word fooey, uh, because nobody's used it since 1959, and uh, I wanted to bring it back because I'm hip like that. Um, it could be anything from that kind of response, or it could be what you think, um, it could mean, and what the ramifications of it could mean. So there's what we do know. We do know that there is a planet. I mean, and this could all be disproven tomorrow. This could turn out to be a hoax. It could turn out, I mean, there's a million things that could, that could, uh, um, invalidate it. There are also a lot of things that could validate it further. Um, so I want to know what you think of what we know currently. I also want to know what you would think, and this is now where we get completely hypothetical. What would you think if we found out that other planets harbor life? and have the potential to harbor life. What does that mean when the Bible says that uh, the earth was created, you know, first the, you know, the water and then the land and the, the sun and the planets and the stars were created later to give light upon the earth? What does it mean for that? What's the ramification of that? Is that still true? Is that other planet just there to give light upon the earth? What are the ramifications of intelligent design? I mean, it's just so unlikely. I mean, the odds of us, of, you know, Earth being able to support life are just so unlikely. We're the only planet that can do it. Well, not true anymore. Other planets can support life on their own without an intelligent designer. Unless you already believe that that planet was intelligently designed, in which case, what does that mean? Do you think that planet, if it had life on it, do you think they were given maybe another Bible? Do you think they got to start with two people on uh, on their own? Do you think uh, maybe they had a different set of moral codes? Maybe it's a completely different uh, situation. What, what, what would you think if um, we found out that other planets, or at least one, had life on it besides us, intelligent life? What does that mean? What does that mean about God? What does that mean about your Bible? What does that mean about you? Let me know what you think. Please send video responses. I really want to know.